This week on Tune In Tuesday, we are talking to Robbie Atkinson. Robbie's position is DAG for the number 12 Verizon Wireless IndyCar for Will Power. Can you explain exactly what DAG stands for and what your position entails? Yes, uh, the DAG is either a data acquisition guy, a geek, guru, <laughs> kind of has a few different terms. So, And basically it's in charge of all the electronics on the car. That's the sensors, the data systems, uh, radios. And then uh, at the track, we basically maintain all of the systems on the car, check to make sure they're all running, review the data, and then during the race we uh, are in charge of the fuel mileage. So we basically monitor during the race and all the other vitals of the engine, and then uh, basically report back to the strategist, Tim, on you know, what the fuel windows are, and uh, me and the race engineer work pretty closely on basically bouncing back uh, fuel information of what what windows we think we're predicting, and then uh, how much fuel we need to add. And then, uh, during the race, it's basically just straight fuel mileage, and then uh, monitoring all the sensors and electronics of the car. Are your shop duties different than at track? Uh, yes. Basically, at the track, we're about 75% dedicated to our direct car. And then at the shop, it kind of flips, and we separate projects. So there's three DAGs. And we uh, take the projects and we'll divvy them out to where at the, at the track we're pretty much focused on our car, but then when we get to back to the shop, it's you kind of focus on one area and do it for all of the cars. So we have a guy that does all of the, the wiring and then we separate it off into different projects. So it's kind of, it's a lot of fun because you get to do more than, more than one thing. You can do design work, you can do electronics back at the shop, uh, you're not always dedicated directly you know, to, to the wiring and the data systems, you can do a lot of other projects. So, How did you get into the position you are today? Uh, I went to Colorado State University for mechanical engineering and uh, there I worked on a variety of basically sports cars and street race cars and uh, they uh, I was lucky enough that in uh, Fort Collins there was a uh, professional race car team, it was a champ car team, Brew Sport, and they were doing a motorsport engineering internship through Red Bull, and I was awarded that. And so through my internship with Brew Sport, I got a full-time job once they merged with Rocket Sports to form the R Sports champ car team, and I worked there full-time until 2007 when champ car died. And uh, the team manager there put me in touch with Penske. And I got a job here uh, as a DAG and a shop guy on the sports car team, and then uh, moved to the IndyCar full team uh, full time when uh, we started running the third car with Will. What are the biggest challenges being a DAG engineer than any other type of engineer? I think the, the biggest challenge or stressful part is that. You're in charge of all of the, the data systems on the car, all of the electronics. So if something, there's certain stuff on the car that if it doesn't work, the car can't run. And the second that that comes up, it's, you know, it's taken away time that you could be on track, you know, trying to improve the car. So it becomes instantly, how quickly can you diagnose the situation and get the car back running? So. I think that the, the biggest challenge is, you know, it's the the unknown. You don't know exactly, you know, the second the session starts, it could everything could be running great, and then something uh, something dies out, and it's instantly going from everything happy to immediately how fast can you diagnose what's going on or what happened and take care of it. What is your advice for anyone trying to break into the racing industry? Uh, for breaking into racing as far as uh, a DAG, it's basically uh, not necessarily having you know, a mass amount of knowledge of the individual data systems because you know, most schools don't have access to that. But what they do have access to is general stuff like wiring and uh, radio communication because uh, a good base of, of radios or 
IT knowledge or wiring. It's all stuff that you know, is required by a, a DAG. So it's, it's easier to, to gain that knowledge than it is to gain the, the data acquisition side right away. So it's easier to, you know, to, to break into it to get a job having a firm base of you know, the basics of you know, that and then move on into the, the data side once you get in. So. And that was Robbie Atkinson, DAG for the number 12 Verizon Wireless IndyCar of Willpower answering your questions. Thanks, Robbie.